In 2014, two aerospace giants stood at the threshold of a new era in human spaceflight. SpaceX, the ambitious newcomer, secured a $2.6 billion NASA contract. Boeing, the industry veteran with decades of experience, commanded an even larger sum, $4.2 billion. The stage was set for what many expected to be an epic race to revolutionize space travel. But sometimes even the mightiest can fall. Today, we're going to tell you the story of how Boeing's Starliner program, once poised to be a cornerstone of NASA's commercial crew program, became one of the most costly and embarrassing failures in modern spaceflight history. A tale of ambition, technical challenges, and ultimately a $2 billion lesson in humility for one of aerospace's most respected names. From software glitches that sent a spacecraft off course, to corroding valves that grounded flights for years, to a final mission that left astronauts stranded in orbit. This is the full story of how Boeing's dream of competing in the commercial space race came crashing down to Earth. This is your Elon Musk 24-hour channel, bringing you the latest in space industry news and analysis. Let's dive right in. The year was 2014, and the halls of Boeing's space division buzzed with anticipation. The company had just secured what seemed like a golden ticket to the future of space travel a $4.2 billion NASA contract to build America's next spacecraft. In conference rooms and engineering labs, veterans of the aerospace industry spoke confidently about their advantages. After all, Boeing had helped build every American spacecraft that had ever carried astronauts to orbit. This was their territory, their legacy, their moment to prove that experience trumps innovation. Down in Hawthorne, California, SpaceX had received a similar contract though notably smaller, at $2.6 billion. Industry experts nodded knowingly. Of course, Boeing got more funding. They were the sure bet, the safe choice, the company that would undoubtedly deliver first. Some even wondered if SpaceX, with its unconventional approaches and ambitious timeline, could deliver at all. The old guard of aerospace watched with mild amusement as Elon Musk's upstart company made bold promises about revolutionizing space travel. But within Boeing's walls, troubles were already brewing. Engineers working on the Starliner spacecraft were fighting an invisible enemy, complexity. The software systems meant to control every aspect of the spacecraft's operation were becoming a labyrinth of code, each line potentially hiding a critical flaw. The architecture of Starliner's flight software, split across multiple processors and redundant systems, was proving far more challenging than anticipated. Yet the pressure to maintain Boeing's reputation for reliability meant these concerns often went unvoiced in status meetings. The first warning signs appeared during internal reviews. Software simulations showed occasional glitches, minor timing issues, unexpected behavior in edge cases. But these were dismissed as normal development hurdles, the kind of problems Boeing had solved countless times before. Senior managers, focused on maintaining the project's timeline, assured NASA that everything was proceeding according to plan. December 2019 arrived, and with it came Boeing's moment of truth, the first uncrewed test flight of Starliner. As the Atlas V rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral, carrying Starliner toward its rendezvous with the International Space Station, the world watched. The launch itself was perfect, a testament to United Launch Alliance's reliable rocket. But within hours, something went terribly wrong. The spacecraft's internal clock, somehow offset by 11 hours, caused Starliner to fire its thrusters at the wrong time. Instead of climbing to meet the space station, it found itself stranded in the wrong orbit. As flight controllers scrambled to salvage the mission, a second, even more frightening discovery emerged. Another software error could have caused the service module to crash into the crew capsule during separation potentially destroying the spacecraft. The mission was labeled a high-visibility close call by NASA, a polite way of saying that had astronauts been aboard, they would have been in serious danger. For Boeing, this wasn't just a technical failure. It was a devastating blow to their reputation as the gold standard of aerospace engineering. The subsequent investigation revealed shocking lapses in software testing and integration. Boeing had only tested their systems in segments, never running a complete end-to-end -end simulation of the mission. The company's response was swift but telling. They promised a complete overhaul of their software development and testing procedures. 
Engineers who had raised concerns early in the program watched with mixed emotions as their warnings were finally taken seriously. But the damage to morale was already done. Some of Boeing's best talent began quietly updating their resumes, looking for opportunities at companies where engineering concerns wouldn't be dismissed so easily. Throughout 2020, as SpaceX successfully launched astronauts to the space station and brought them home safely, Boeing engineers worked tirelessly to fix Starliner's software issues. The company promised a second test flight would prove their spacecraft's capability. Yet when Starliner rolled out to the launch pad in August 2021, fate had other plans. Just hours before launch, engineers discovered something alarming. 13 valves in the spacecraft's propulsion system wouldn't move. As technicians worked around the clock to understand the problem, a disturbing reality emerged. The valves, critical for controlling Starliner's thrusters, had corroded shut. Moisture had somehow crept into the system, reacting with the oxidizer to create nitric acid. The spacecraft, meant to be the pinnacle of aerospace engineering, had been betrayed by basic chemistry. The investigation that followed revealed a perfect storm of oversights. The valve design, while proven in other applications, hadn't been adequately tested for Florida's humid climate. The materials chosen, the assembly procedures, even the storage conditions, all had contributed to the failure. Boeing's engineers focused on complex software systems and sophisticated electronics had been undone by simple corrosion. The delay stretched from weeks into months as Boeing redesigned the valve system. Meanwhile, the costs mounted. By early 2022, Boeing had already lost $595 million on the program. Yet company executives maintained their public confidence even as shareholders began asking uncomfortable questions about the program's viability. Internal documents later revealed that some senior managers had pushed to cut corners on testing to save costs, a decision that would prove catastrophically short-sighted. May 2022 finally brought a glimmer of hope. The second uncrewed test flight succeeded in reaching the space station. Boeing employees celebrated, but the victory felt hollow. SpaceX had already completed multiple crewed missions by this point, establishing itself as NASA's reliable partner in space. The market that Boeing had once assumed would be theirs was slipping away. Then came 2024, and with it, Boeing's last chance at redemption, the crewed flight test. After years of delays and billions in cost overruns, two NASA astronauts strapped themselves into Starliner for its first human flight. The launch went perfectly. The docking was smooth. For a brief moment, it seemed Boeing had finally turned the corner. But as the mission neared its end, engineers monitoring Starliner systems noticed something that made their blood run cold. Multiple helium leaks in the propulsion system. Worse still, the reaction control thrusters, crucial for controlling the spacecraft during its fiery return through Earth's atmosphere, were showing signs of malfunction the very systems meant to ensure a safe return home were failing. In mission control, the atmosphere grew tense as engineers ran simulation after simulation, looking for a safe way to bring the crew home. But each scenario revealed new risks, new potential failure points. The stark reality became impossible to ignore. Starliner, despite all the money and effort poured into it, wasn't safe for human return flight. Boeing and NASA faced an impossible choice. The spacecraft designed to carry astronauts safely to and from orbit couldn't be trusted to bring its crew home. In a moment of supreme irony, NASA had to turn to SpaceX's Crew Dragon, the very competitor Boeing had once dismissed, to rescue the stranded astronauts. The sight of Starliner's crew boarding their competitor's spacecraft became a powerful symbol of Boeing's fall from grace. The financial impact was staggering. By February 2025, Boeing had lost nearly $2 billion on Starliner, but the cost to their reputation was immeasurable. The company that had helped put humans on the moon, that had built the space shuttle, was now forced to admit defeat in the commercial space race. Internal morale plummeted as employees watched years of their work amount to nothing. The aftermath brought sweeping changes. CEO David Calhoun, already under fire for Boeing's troubled 737 MAX program, faced intense criticism when his salary increased to $35 million in 2024, despite the company's struggles. By August, he was replaced by Kelly Ortberg, 
an aerospace engineer tasked with salvaging what remained of Boeing's space ambitions. Ted Colbert, head of Boeing's Defense, Space and Security Division, was next to go. His replacement, Steve Parker, inherited a space program in shambles and a clear mandate. Find a way out. Teams that had once dreamed of revolutionizing space travel now found themselves managing the program's closure. By early 2025, after careful negotiations with NASA, Boeing officially canceled the Starliner program. As Boeing retreated from human spaceflight, a new competitor emerged from the shadows. Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, a sleek space plane capable of landing on conventional runways, began preparing for its first mission. Set to launch in May 2025, Dream Chaser represented everything Starliner wasn't. Innovative, flexible, and designed with modern spaceflight demands in mind. The Dream Chaser's approach was revolutionary yet practical. Its lifting body design allowed for gentle re-entries, with forces no greater than what passengers experience in a commercial airliner. The ability to land on conventional runways meant quicker access to sensitive cargo and easier spacecraft refurbishment. Even its cargo capacity, 5,500 kilograms up and 1,750 kilograms down, was optimized for the real needs of space station operations. The story of Starliner serves as more than just a cautionary tale of corporate hubris. It marks a fundamental shift in the aerospace industry, where experience and reputation alone no longer guarantee success. In the new space race, innovation, agility, and the willingness to learn from failure have proven more valuable than decades of tradition. For Boeing, the cost of this lesson was measured not just in billions of dollars, but in the end of an era. The company that once stood as America's premier spacecraft builder now watches from the sidelines as newer, more nimble competitors carry humanity's dreams into the final frontier. Their story reminds us that in the rapidly evolving world of space exploration, past glory is no guarantee of future success. The final frontier demands not just experience, but the courage to embrace change and learn from failure. As Dream Chaser prepares for its historic first flight, the space industry has learned valuable lessons from the Starliner saga. It's shown us that success in space exploration isn't just about heritage or deep pockets. It's about innovation, transparency, and the courage to face problems head on. The next chapter in commercial spaceflight is already being written, with new players bringing fresh ideas to the table. The failure of Starliner hasn't slowed humanity's march to the stars. If anything, it's accelerated it by showing exactly what not to do. This story also reminds us that in the rapidly evolving world of space technology, no company's position is guaranteed. The future belongs to those who can adapt, innovate, and most importantly, learn from their mistakes. If you found this deep dive into one of aerospace's most dramatic stories interesting, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on Boeing's next steps. Should they try to re-enter the space race or focus on their commercial aviation business? Stay tuned for more exclusive coverage of the latest developments in space exploration and technology. Until next time, keep looking up. The future of space travel is just beginning.